Hi wonderful humans, happy Saturday. My name is Gauri and welcome or welcome back to my channel Bookish Muse. So today I am going to be doing a video that is super exciting because I will be reading probably my most anticipated book of this year and that is Bombay Balchao by James Borgs. So I have a short story um, about how I got this book so you can skip a little forward if you don't want to listen. So back in January, I was, I guess, I was just going through this Amazon and uh, I saw this book I, and I don't know what, maybe the color pink because I love all shades of pink or maybe this, look at this, this striking beautiful cover grabbed my attention and ever since then this book was on my radar. So I decided that I'm going to give this book to me on my birthday but unfortunately my birthday came during lockdown and you, as you all know that um, you know Flipkart, Amazon and all other delivery services were discontinued for a while. So finally I bought this book and I have also written the date here. I don't think it's visible so uh, I thought I will just review this book uh, on my channel but then I thought no I will vlog it uh, now don't ask me why because even I don't know the answer and trust me there are very few moments in my life when such creative ideas come to my mind so yeah here I am talking to you guys vlogging about this so this is a short cycle stories book where there are interlinked stories of people living in Kavel which is in South Mumbai and also this book has to be read very slowly uh, to savour uh, just like the title Bombay Balchao where um, you know uh, if you guys don't know uh, Balchao is a Goan style prawns pickle. So you really have to slow down while reading this book and to savour this um, lives of very ordinary people uh, so beautifully drenched in their uh, simplicity and in their culture just uh, like how these prawns are drenched in this flavour bomb goan sauce. So as you can see from all the steps that I have uh, started reading this book so this will be my fifth saturday i'll be reading this book so i thought why not finish this book because i'm already halfway through this and um, i can fly through this remaining pages because this book is so amazing and also uh, this will be the first time i am annotating a book so last month i guess i came across one youtube video on how to annotate uh, the book and i was like uh, a thought which came to my mind after seeing that video was like why would someone annotate a book it's not like I hated this idea of scribbling your thoughts in a book uh, or sticking this uh, colorful flags but in fact I was curious to know like how it actually works so for past Gauri even the slightest idea of writing in her book would have hurt her but for future Gauri it's totally fine man as long as you don't blow my mind so everyone has their own uh, system for annotating their book like what kind of tabs you would use and how you will color code these tabs according to your uh, favorite scene uh, codes etc then how you will highlight these codes using different color highlighters so uh, i'll give you my example of how i annotate my book so if this is your first time for annotating a book like me then I will suggest you to list down all your color codes so that it will be easier for you whenever you annotate it. As pink is my favorite color, so I have selected pink for the lines I love.
then I have selected orange tabs for all the funny lines. blue tabs for all important lines for example uh, there is information given about bombay uh, rent act 1947 then maharashtra rent control act 1999 and it's really fun guys like after annotating few pages you will get to know your style of annotating a book it's like uh, you know customizing your book it's like paying close attention to every detail of the book and to expand your understanding of what you have read so so yeah enough of talking now i'll uh, start my reading Hi, it's 11:20 right now, and I have already uh, finished two stories. Uh, first is um, a wedding at Kavel, and second is a friend called Joe. Both are amazing read, and uh, so far I have observed one thing: uh, the author has conceptualized every story in such a way that it takes uh, you to the time back when uh, Mumbai was Bombay. Uh, which was so serene so crowded and now you all know it's, it's total havoc and also you get to see that a lot of research has been put uh, in this book uh, as you get to see uh, the historical facts and all the back stories of uh, manglorian catholics goan catholics and overall uh, catholic community in kavel which itself brings uh, more life to the book so just a few minutes back uh, as i said i read uh, the story called named a friend called joe so uh, this is about a guy named joe who is drowned in love and i thought i'll give you my gyan on this thing called love so what i feel is that love is a very beautiful thing and nothing is more beautiful uh then love or been in loved or been loved by your uh, loved ones yada 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 but at the same time it's also important that you keep love as a part of your life rather than uh, making it the only thing of your life um for example uh now in books we have so many chapters right so likewise in our life there are many chapters which needs to be touched which needs to be felt which uh, needs to be lived but if we get stuck in one chapter then we can't enjoy the other chapters which who knows might be more exciting more thrilling than this right and one more thing which i feel is we don't drown by falling in love we drown by staying there and both are different things okay uh, so we should know like ठीक है दिस इज द टाइम वी शुड लेट गो वी शुड मूव ऑन बिकॉज आई गेस दैट्स द ओनली ऑप्शन वी हैव आई गेस एंड विच इज फेयर इनफ सो दैट वॉज माई आज का ज्ञान फॉर टूडे अगर पसंद आए तो प्लीज लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना एंड आई गेट बैक टू माई रीडिंग हाई सो आई गिव यू अ क्विक अपडेट आई फिनिश्ड वॉट ऑफ यस को चैप्टर सेवन सो इट्स अबाउट लाइक देर इज अ एंट्री ऑफ न्यू कैरेक्टर नेम एलिना गोम्स हु इज द सेक्रेटरी ऑफ बॉस्को मैंशन एंड या आई हैव फॉगॉट टू मैंशन अर्लियर सो कवेल इज द नेम ऑफ द एरिया एंड बॉस्को इज द मैंशन वेर ऑल दिस फाइव फैमिलीज लिव so yeah there are five families in total and they are already uh, dealing with the uh, problems pertaining to water scarcity and 
there's the entry of one new family uh, named the Brigenzas. So how are they going to deal with this water crisis? So do they find a solution for this? And if yes, then why it turned into a fiasco? For that, you need to read this book. Hi. Okay. And also this book is about unrequited, one-sided love of Elena Gomes with Michael Contino, the main character of this book. So right now I'll uh, go and have my lunch and watch Gilmore Girls. So Gilmore Girls is this TV series of this amazing mother-daughter pair, and it just you know you know it just makes you happy. So I'll watch that and then I'll take a nap for around half an hour or maybe more. And all right then, I'll see you guys. Soon. chapter 8 is by far the cutest chapter in this book so uh, it is basically full of uh, love letters shared between Michael and Elena it's full of uh, reminiscing the past and anticipating the future which is kind of beautiful and also I have to say that all this chapter in this book are written in a very non-linear pattern Matlab if one chapter is written in 2015 then the next will be written in some 1950 then the rest next will be written in uh, what 2010 so it's kind of randomly arranged which uh, is actually beautiful so for example if you have seen uh, money heist so you know that in season 2 berlin dies but then you get to see berlin in all those flashback scenes in season 3 so similarly uh, some uh, chapters in this book uh, Similarly, uh, some uh, characters disappear and then reappear in some chapters, for example, uh, Mario. So it feels kind of good and also only three chapters are remaining, which I'll finish Patapad say and then I'll share my thoughts about this book. So yeah, bye. finally finished this book and has it ever happened with you that uh, the closer you get to finish a book the difficult it actually gets to finish it uh, because it happens with me all the time when I read a good book uh, and you know it's always in the back of my mind that my journey with this amazing beautiful fictional characters is soon going to end which is not true actually because whenever you read a good book that part of the book will always be in your heart and like no one can take it away from you so uh, whenever i finish a book i always write my thoughts reviews or whatever i feel at that particular moment in my diary which i'll be doing after finishing this vlog so so uh, this is my diary and by looking at the harlot of my diary you can like i can definitely say that I make her feel the same what I feel after reading a good book uh, and I don't know but uh, this book resembles to a uh, Bato Bato Me movie so if in case you don't know what Bato Bato Me is so it is a very old movie I guess in 70s yeah in 70s starring Amul Palekar and Tina Ambani so this is about this very cute couple uh, who found each other in local train yeah you heard me right in local train and then their love story begins so whenever you get a chance to read this book Bombay Barchao then I suggest you to watch Bato Bato Me movie later because it will really help you to um, get out of out from that uh, post post book de uh, post book depression and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had a great time and bye.